Hey now, welcome back Pokemon Trainers, this is your friendly neighborhood Volados, and today we are at the Septiel Premier Challenge here at Outpost 2000 in Coon Rapids, Minnesota. The date today is November 15th, 2015. We are in the uh, top two matchup in this uh, Premier Challenge. On the top of your screen is going to be Aaron Lieberbach. Sorry, Aaron's on the bottom. Marcus Bard is going to be on the top of your screen. Uh, Aaron won the last battle basically by just overpowering Marcus's team. So they bring their six Pokemon, and they choose four of those six to bring into battle. Marcus is going to have to change up something drastically between the last battle and this one uh, to try and overcome Aaron's powerful team. Aaron's going to start out this battle with a Politoed and uh, Talonflame, while Marcus counters with what looks like a Clefairy and a Greninja. Rain comes out from uh, Politoed's ability. Politoed is just going to try and scald the Clefairy because he knows that it has a follow me. Uh, Politoed's going to switch out to try, or at least, well, there's a Brave Bird. He's thinking about using Brave Bird on the uh, Greninja. But there comes follow me, becomes the center of attention. Brave Bird is going to attack, excuse me, the Clefairy. Puts it down to about a quarter of its HP remaining. Grass Knot comes in from uh, Greninja. Changes his type to Grass because of his ability. And Critical hits the Politoed uh, for a knockout. Grass Knot does its max damage because Politoed is a, is a pretty big heavyweight. So Eren's going to bring out his uh, Aegislash that had a very big impact on the previous battle. Looks like he's trying for Flash Cannon and Brave Bird again. Um, the uh, Clefairy uses Follow Me again to try and protect uh, Greninja. Talonflame drops down a Brave Bird. It's going to knock out a uh, Clefairy. And, Br and Talonflame is also going to take Recoil damage from the attack. I believe that'll put it down to about two-thirds of its HP. Three-quarters of its HP remaining. Dark Pulse from from Greninja, transforms into Dark Type, hits the Talon Flame, puts it down to, into the red. So Aegislash will use Flash Cannon on the Greninja, uh, puts it down to about a quarter of its health remaining. So now Marcus has to switch out one of his Pokemon. Now down to three Pokemon apiece. Out comes the uh, Garchomp that he tried to use in the previous battle and got one shot by, um, who was it, Politoed. I didn't see what the uh, attacks were for this round, unfortunately, but uh, both teams are, well, Marcus is focused heavily on speed, though I'm pretty certain the Talonflame is faster than most of what's out there. So Talonflame will return. Out comes Clefable, a big bulky defensive Pokemon, uh, that can take some damage uh, from the opponent. Stance change to uh, shield form and drops down a king's shield uh, to protect itself from damage only. Dark Pulse will hit Clefable for not very much damage, resistant, and Age Slash protects itself from Earthquake, which will hit the other two Pokemon for a lot of damage. The Greninja is knocked out from the damage, and I didn't see how much. Uh, damage Clefable took, but it's enough to trigger the Citrus Berry to restore 30 HP. So, now out comes Kangaskhan. He's in a much more favorable situation than he was in uh, the last game, where he just came in by himself against a team of three Pokemon. Got a Wide Guard coming, and it looks like we're trying for a Moonblast uh, against that Garchomp. He's really afraid of that. what that Garchomp can do. I would be too. It's a very powerful Pokemon. So there goes uh, Mega Kangaskhan. Can now attack twice during your turn. And the Kangaskhan uses Protect. Save itself a turn. Clefable uses Protect. Uh, Aegislash uses Wide Guard, which protects uh, both members of the team. And there's an Earthquake into multiple Protects. 
So basically a turn of nothing. Uh, Age of Slash is probably... Th Ooh, Flash Cannon I saw. Sh or Shadow Ball into the Garchomp. And then Clefable is probably going to Moonblast the uh, Garchomp. It almost has to Moonblast the Garchomp. It's changing to uh, Flash Cannon onto uh, Kangaskhan. While Moonblast should still hit the hit the Garchomp. You should be using that Moonblast on the Garchomp. That thing is going to take a lot of damage. There's a power-up punch onto Clefable. Uh, raises the attack to, by two levels because it can attack twice. Though it's not very effective against the uh, Clefable. There comes an Earthquake from the Garchomp, which is going to deal a lot of damage all the way around. Uh, puts both uh, of Eren's Pokemon into the red. Weakness Policy rages attack and special attack. And it loses some HP. There comes, there goes the Moonblast onto Garchomp, super effective. And drops special attack. Aegislash Stance changes into Blade Form. It's going to use Flash Cannon on the uh, Kangaskhan. That's going to knock out Kangaskhan. I believe now Marcus is down to his final Pokemon, which is just that uh, Garchomp. Rain stops. Aegislash is probably just going to Wide Guard, while Clefable will Moonblast, and that will probably take the game. Aegislash will use Wide Guard, protecting uh, both of the Pokemon. Earthquake into the Wide Guard does nothing. Moonblast onto Garchomp will knock it out, and Eren will take this game with, I believe, either two or three Pokemon remaining to none. So Aaron has three Pokemon remaining, two, uh, Marcus is two, and Aaron wins this uh, Septiel Premier Challenge. Congratulations to Aaron uh, for his latest win. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time.